Hello everybody and welcome back to LLB Society. This is Hariri, the creator of LLB Society and this time I'm gonna tell you a story, another story from Aesop uh, by acknowledging the source, the text has been obtained from Gutenberg.org and it falls into the uh, public library, it means everybody can access and use the source. So this, the, the title of this story is The Farmer and the Stork. Stork is a bird, as you can see. And these are cranes. So uh, this story is about some birds and the farmer and the birds try to steal some crops from the farmer. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, tell you this story. And I will explain about it. A farmer placed nets on his newly sown plowed land and caught a number of cranes. So, uh, sown means scattered, seeded, plow means to make some uh, furrows on the land to make it suitable for agriculture, for planting and seeding land and cut a number of crane. Crane are uh, some birds with long uh, neck and also legs and uh, they are notorious for robbing some crops and they live on, la on lands and plains or agricultural fields. Which came to pick up his seed. So the cranes uh, would steal some crops from the farmer's land and the farmer was upset about it. With them he trapped a stork and uh, you know, yeah, st stork is another type of bird uh, which has some which bears uh, some uh, similarity and resembles uh, uh, the cranes and uh, but their beaks are long or perhaps longer as far as I know uh, yeah and their feathers uh, are in black and also white generally white that had fractured his leg in the net so fracture means crack or break so uh, his uh, one of his legs was broken, was fractured or cracked, and it was uh, it was uh, just trapped in the net, and was earnestly beseeching the farmer to spare his life. Earnestly means seriously, so he was just begging the farmer for his life, uh, just in this way. For example, please let me go, please uh, forgive me this time, and. Uh, just pardon me and uh, pray save me master please just release me he said and let me go free this once just release me or exempt me this time my broken limb should excite your pity limb means organ body part should excite your pity it is uh, pitiful so I deserve that pity. Besides, means in addition, I'm no crane, I'm a stork, a bird of excellent character, so I'm different. I'm different from the cranes, I'm a stork. And uh, see how I love and slave for my father and mother. Slave here means uh, work physically and labor. So I'm at the service of my parents. Look too at my feathers, they are not the least like those of a crane. So I, don't, I do not share any similarity, uh, both physically and mentally, uh, uh, between me and also the, uh, the other cranes, so I do, I do not look like them. The farmer laughed about, laughed aloud, and said, the farmer sneered at what the stork said and said, it may be all as you say, you might be right. I only know this. 
I have taken you with these robbers, that is the cranes, and you must die in their company. So since I have just taken you among the other robbers or cranes, uh, you should also die in their company, in their uh, vicinity or in this group, you know, among your friends. Company means friends. So, uh, and uh, perhaps from this story, this proverb has originated, uh, birds of a feather flock together. F uh, birds of a feather, birds uh, that have the same type of feather flock together. Uh, it means they just assemble around each other, they gather or congregate, flock means congregate or assemble, gather around each other. And uh, said about people who have similar characteristics or interests, uh, especially uh, ones of which you disapprove, and uh, who often spend time with each other. And new words and expressions. Um, one sown means scattered, spread to plow, to make furrows or grooves or some channels on a land to make it suitable for seeding and planting. Crane, a bird with long legs and neck living on plains. Stork, a large wading bird with long legs and neck and a long straight beak. Fracture, crack, break, earnestly, sincerely and seriously, beseech, implore, beg, spare, free, release, show mercy to, limb, body organ, body part, slave, labor and work, flock, gather, assemble and congregate. Now we come to the end of this short story let me show you some specifications about this one as you see the this short story falls into the category of in, learn english with uh, short stories and also fairy tales because it is a fairy tale and we have uh, over 50 short stories and fairy tales and they come with actually a uh, translation into persian uh, because LLB Society is also suitable for Persian learners. And some tags and keywords. A man is known by the company he keeps or he makes. If you just click on them, you will see more related lessons. Aesop's Fables. So this story uh, has been uh, written or for the first time told by Aesop. Beseech means to implore, to beg birds because actually we are we learn about two types of birds here storks and uh cranes birds of a feather flock together a famous proverb company companion companion again actually means uh, camaraderie friendship company friend about freedom implore which means if you just click on them you will see more lessons more related posts and lessons uh, means beseech beg entreaty and this lesson is suitable for immediate uh, intermediate sorry intermediate english learners and also upper intermediate english learners and there are some related lessons these are some related lessons the ass and his purchaser the milk woman and her pail and the farmer and the fox and you can also leave your questions or comments here and we will answer them immediately now let me show you the a category of learn english with short stories here it is learn english with short stories 58 58 short stories already and 
you can see just some of them here so there are so many uh, actually short stories in English and you can study them they all uh, they appearing uh, with podcasts new words and also the ability to listen to any new uh, word by just clicking on them and this is a wonderful opportunity and also this is pagination it just leads you to the next pages so there are six pages already and the number is increasing generally on a weekly basis okay remember you can just uh, NLP society is based on membership so you can either become a registered student uh, or you can join our growing team for free membership and some uh, extraordinary benefits and yeah okay thank you very much i hope you found it useful take care of yourself and see you in the next lesson bye bye